So we're just going to come to um, a Pilates Qigong mix, uh, twisting like bamboo. I've done one on twisting like bamboo, and it was pretty much a very basic stretch, just coming over this way. But um, again, there is one where you sort of do a couple of movements here, here, and then turn, and then you turn. So we just put that into, it's just a bit of motion really, we put into a Pilates setup, that's all we're doing. So, we start with a breathing and then we mix that in. Um, I will say, you know, if you've got any real, you've really slipped discs or anything like that and you've got any problems, you know, you can always come this way, um, you know, and support the, sort the back. Um, I mean, this, shrugged the shoulders, anything, you can just modify, you know, just do the motion here, uh, depending how bad you are but um again it's just a bit of motion so what we're going to do is we're not going to do the we're not going to do the qigong breathing into the belly like a balloon we're gonna zip up pelvic floor and scoop out our abdominals the pilates style so right now we're going to zip up pelvic floor and scoop out our abdominals take our navels towards the spine and that's going to help us breathe long and deep into these lower lobes and lungs into costals the ribs anywhere but our stomach lovely because as you zip up pelvic floor and scoop out your abdominals right now there's nowhere else for our breath to go apart from into these lower lobes of lungs into costals the ribs anywhere but the stomach so as you zip up pelvic floor and scoop out your abdominals right now that breath goes anywhere but our belly buttons okay and it can only go into these lower lobes of lungs right now as you zip up pelvic floor and scoop out your abdominals, we're gonna just breathe in for the nose, whenever you like, and exhale through pursed lips. So if you're sort of blowing out a candle through pursed lips, as you keep zipping up pelvic floor and scooping out your abdominals, just let that breath roll in through the nose, whenever you like, and exhale through pursed lips. You're sort of blowing out a candle through pursed lips. Lovely. And just simply allow that simplicity to relax the mind right now as you keep zipping up pelvic floor and scooping out your abdominals and breathing in through the nose whenever you like and exhaling through pursed lips. Lovely. Lateral thoracic breathing, we call that in Pilates. Helps us use our pelvic floor, our lower abs, our pelvic floor, and our corset muscle called the transverse abdominus wrapping around our spine in the most efficient manner, helping us breathe anywhere but our belly buttons. But just keep breathing into them lower lobes of lungs, the intercostals, the ribs, anywhere but your stomachs. Lovely. Free expansive breath. Just keep breathing in organ deep, cell deep, even bone marrow deep into these lower lobes of lungs, the intercostals, the ribs, anywhere but your stomachs. And just to enforce, just let us know what we're doing there. We're going to get them two middle fingers touching while we're doing this underneath what we call the xiphoid process the sternum the breastbone palms on the lower lobes of the lungs so we've got these two middle fingers touching and as we right now zip up pelvic floor scoop out our abdominals we're going to breathe in through the nose whenever you like and exhale through pursed lips so you're sort of blowing out a candle through pursed lips and as you're doing that right now with your shoulders down you'll feel these two middle fingers slightly parting and coming back to touch each other. Just adding width to your lungs as you breathe in and length to the out breath. You might feel the two middle fingers part, but it might be a millimeter or a centimetre, as much as this, it might not be. It might be a millimetre or a centimetre, but you'll feel them two middle fingers right now parting, just like seaweed on the bottom of the seabed to the sides and back. Just add in width to your lungs as you breathe in and length to the out breath as you exhale through pursed lips. Then fingers are moving like seaweed on the bottom of the seabed as you keep your shoulders down. Lovely. And that's just to let you know that breath's going into them lower lobes of lungs, into costals, the ribs, anywhere but your stomach. Because right now there's nowhere else for that breath to go apart from into these lower lobes of lungs, into costals, the ribs, anywhere but your stomach. Lovely. That's what we call lateral thoracic breathing. Keep breathing into them fish gills, 3D style. Organ deep, cell deep. 
even bone marrow deep into these lower lobes of lungs, intercostals, the ribs, anywhere but your stomach. Lovely. As though someone's opening an umbrella inside your rib cage and letting go, or someone's just opening an umbrella inside your rib cage and letting go. That lovely, free, expansive breath. Just keep breathing organ deep, cell deep, even bone marrow deep into them lower lobes of lungs, the intercostals, the ribs, anywhere but your stomachs. Lovely. Just simply allow that simplicity to relax the mind as you let the hands go. As you zip up pelvic floor and scoop out your abdominals, their muscles go together. You can't do one without the other. And just keep breathing in through the nose, whenever you like. And exhaling through pursed lips. You're sort of blowing out a candle through pursed lips. Lovely. Allow that simplicity to relax the mind of simply zipping up pelvic floor, scooping out your abdominals, and simply breathing in through your nose, whenever you like. And exhaling through pursed lips. So you're blowing out a candle through pursed lips. Lovely. And again, you've got that further feel of what's happening. Reassurance. And that breath's going into them lower lobes of lungs right now as you keep repeating that. And allowing that simplicity to relax the mind. And further to enforce that into our minds, we're just going to, as we do that right now, we're going to get our thumbs from the hips all the way around as we're doing this still. We're still zipping up pelvic floor, scooping out abdominals. We're going to take thumbs from the hips all the way around to meet here. And that's the B line, bikini line, belt line. Lovely. And as you're breathing in through the nose, we're going to let out our cough. It's like a... <coughs> and you'll feel the pelvic floor and the corset muscle work together there. So do that a few times. So we're breathing in still. As we exhale or we cough, <coughs> you'll feel that pelvic floor and the corset go together. Three layers deep, linking on like cling film to this B line, bikini line, belt line. Pelvic floor's there, corset's above, three layers deep, wrapping around our spine, and then two muscles go together. You can't do one without the other. As we breathe in, we change that into an exhale. We're going to breathe in, and it's a nice force or exhale. And you'll feel that pelvic floor and the corset muscle go at the same time. As you relax the hands now, with that further awareness of what's going on in there, that will help you even more efficiently use these muscles in the correct manner than you already are. As you zip up pelvic floor and scoop out your abdominals, just safen the awareness, safen the knowledge that then two muscles go together. You can't do one without the other. As you keep breathing in through the nose whenever you like. And exhaling through pursed lips. Remember that exhale works like a cough or sneeze. <coughs> Helps everything coming towards the spine. Nice, resonant out breath. <sighs> Helps to zip up pelvic floor and scoop out your abdominals without even trying or trying not to try. Lovely job. So we put it into the motion. So again, a bit of motion. It's a basic stretch. Stand in Shazam posture, knees soft, again relax. Lengthen up for the crown, shoulders down, again from here. We're going above the shoulders, so really focus on these shoulders, okay? Um, you just come out of it, you feel this coming in, we're very overactive in these upper traps, 80, 85 to 90% of us, so keep your shoulders down, okay? Keep an eye on them, especially we're going above the head here. So we're gonna come up, we're gonna breathe in, and we're gonna exhale. Here. So it's about four motions. Again, if you need support here, do that. Okay, getting these obliques, these side ab muscles. A lot to do with your walking gait. Okay, these. If you're breathing, come back, check your shoulders. If you have to drop them up and let them down, do that. Okay, clasp the hands here. Then we're gonna breathe in to center. Exhale over. Like I say, you need support here, you can do. Watch these shoulders. Breathing in, coming up. Check them, even if you just go up and down, do that, okay? Just to let you know where they go. Then from here, we're gonna change it. We're gonna breathe in to center, as always. Exhale here, as if you've got a skewer through your head, you're turning off that skewer, breathing back to center. Then we exhale, breathing in back to center. Then we go again, exhale. Initiate the move on the exhale, breathing, retrace the move. Then we initiate the positive motion on the exhale, breathing, come back, the second phase. Then exhale, breathe in, exhale. Again.
again, if you want to rest in that and you feel it coming up in the shoulders, because we're all overactive in these upper traps, you can just do the motion. Exhale, breathing in, exhale, breathing in, and then exhale, breathing in. Just getting a little bit of oxygen in there, up through the, the spine. Again, obviously, with Qigong traditionally, when they're breathing to the belly like a balloon, they're, they're thinking of the conception vessel and the governing vessel going from the crown to the tailbone. Open up the meridians, we're not okay at the moment with this. You can always go back in. We can shorten the range here, do a shorter motion. If you feel that too much in the shoulders, exhale, breathe in. If you want to bring the feet in, you can always have a little turn, save that knee, can go a little bit further. Exhale, breathe in. Exhale. shoulders and again just four motions together a nice little sequence again very simple stretches get that a lot in these qigong ones um, again twisting like bamboo but um again gathering zip up and hollow bringing the pilates principles in but again that little pivot will sort of save the knee if you're going a little bit further we're not jamming out the knee um and yeah very basic one they're just basically stretches really. I mean this one to get the obliques, uh, obviously it's different if you're in a Qigong form, you're focusing on the meridians etc. We're just taking the motions, gathering, zip up, support the spine. Again, these external obliques have been stretched, if one side's short, you know, it's going to upset your walking gait, it goes somewhere, hitch to head, you know, it goes, the body's a unit, it goes somewhere else. So stretching these muscles is important for a walking gait in everyday life generally. Um, and again, this turning motion, again, it's just wringing out all the tension from the spine. They're getting all a lot of the rotators around the spine. So a lot of sort of tiny little multi-fidus muscles that deal with like micro movements, they're doing this all day long around your spine. So they're getting a little bit of a stretch. So the transverse plane, the basic the body and micro movements is constantly in this rotational plane. Okay, so again, you think of these micro movements and all the joints are moving around in that rotational plane. So anything in this sort of plane is good, functional, and just simply calibrate and synchronize the breath of the motions. We'll do a few more. So this will also stretch the finger flexors, forearm flexors also. Again, if you're working on computers and stuff, phones today, stuff like that, you get very short these muscles. So it really opens them out. Shoulder girdle awareness. Again, if you just want to drop the shoulders before you start, Imagine there's a trickle of water just running down your back and dispersing them out the shoulders and over hips and over shoulders. That lovely soft area between the shoulder blades, short or long. If you're right with that, whoops. you want to drop these up and down. Again, exhaling over. Again, working as Terry's major muscle here, which does all the motions that our big lat muscles do. Breathing in, coming back. Exhale. Breathing in, coming back. Check the shoulders, okay? Shoulder girdle awareness. And then exhale. If you want to turn that foot, you can do. Breathing and coming back. <sighs> Final exhale. And again, just simply calibrate and synchronize the breath and the motion. Integrate the breath and movement. Again, it's just a basic little stretch routine. But again, get that oxygen into the spine. You've been sitting down a lot. It's a good one to do. Um, and uh, yeah, so that's twisting, twisting like bamboo two. And that's the end of that Pilates Chugong mix. Bang, lovely.